This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to take a look at a related rates problem as it applies to a conical tank problem. All right, so let's get the ball rolling. So the first thing we need to do is to examine the word problem. Let's read it. So if we have water entering in on this uh, tank, and it's entering in at 5 cubic um, feet per minute, how fast is the water rising when the level is four feet deep? So let's first understand what we're given here. This five feet cubed per minute is a volume, and it's a volume over time, so it's really a rate. It's how fast the volume is changing. Okay, so we also know that we're given a height, four feet deep. All right, so so we're going to have to talk about volume as it's changing over time. Okay, so, all right, so if we were to piece this logically together, we know that there is a formula, and the formula for volume of a cone is one-third area of the base, which is pi r squared times the height. So there you go. This is the vo uh, volume formula for a cone. So since we're talking about how the volume is changing over time, I want to take this formula and I'd like to take the derivative with respect to time to both sides. So if I take the derivative of volume with respect to time, I get dv dt. Uh, okay, it's a bad looking t there. Okay, and over here, I'm gonna take the derivative of this side. Now, keep in mind that when I take the derivative, I have some constants here. The constants can come out of the derivative. But I do have two variables here. I have radius squared and h, or, or in other words, r and h are the two variables. And I do have to treat them both as variables, so I do have a product rule going on here. So I'm going to use the product rule formula, which says you take the derivative of the first, which is 2r, and then the chain rule says you got to take the derivative of the inside also. So you do the dr dt. Okay, then you have h. Okay, that's this is part of the product rule. Okay, now you've got to take the derivative of the second part, leaving the first part alone. So now you take the derivative of h with respect to time. Okay, so we have this complicated formula, but uh, now we have our volume as it's changing over time. In other words, this is the rate of volume that's changing. Now, there's a slight problem here. Uh, part of the problem is looking at what we have as far as a formula goes and what we're given. So, according to the given information, I have how the volume is changing over time. That's dv dt, which is 5. 5 cubic uh, feet per minute. I'm just going to put a 5 here, but we can see the units right there. And, of course, we have a height. We said, well, when the height is 4, 4 feet, we want to figure everything out. So, here's our problem. The problem is we don't have a radius. Not yet. Okay. So, what I want to do now is talk about the radius. So let's talk about the relationship between r and h. So if you look at the dimensions here, we could see that the, um, yeah, let's put it over here temporarily. So I know that the radius is 8. Yes, because we were given the diameter. So the radius is 8, and I know the height is 20. Obviously not drawn to scale. But uh, also keep in mind that this is the radius and this is the height, right? So a little bit of uh, work from geometry, we know that uh, r to h has got to be equal to 8 to 20, right? They're similar triangles. So if I cross multiply here, or maybe I should say just multiply both sides by h, I'm going to get, um, let's see, the radius is going to be equal to 8 twentieths h. Right? So h is just going to be over here in the numerator. But 8 twentieths is really 4 tenths, which is really 2 fifths. 
Okay, so now I know the relationship between the radius and the height. That's good to know. Uh, here's the next thing we need to do is notice in the formula I have the, uh, I want to see how the rate is changing over time. So I'm going to take the derivative with respect to time of these two sides of this equation. So I'm going to get dr dt. And over here, I'm going to get 2 fifth, 2 fifths dh dt. OK, so there you go. Those are the relationships that I'm going to be using. So in a moment, I'm going to plug this 2 fifths h here for r and there for r. And then I'm going to put this dr dt, I'm going to put this in here. But I'm going to move things over here to the side to get them out of the way. So as you can see here, things can get pretty complicated because I have a very complicated formula here. I got some substitutions to put in. Well, let's put in one layer of substitution. Okay, one layer. Okay, what I mean by that is I'm going to plug in a few things and then we're going to let we're going to follow this numerically. Okay, so let's do 2 times r. Okay, so I'm going to put 2 times r. r is 2h over 5. I'm going to put dr dt. dr dt is a 2 fifths uh, dh dt times h. Whew, there's a whole bunch going on there. Okay, then I'm going to take the radius squared. So I'm going to square this. That would be 4 25ths h squared times dh dt. OK. Hmm. Not too bad. Let's play maybe a tad more cleanup. OK, so what am I going to get here? I'm going to get a 1 3rd pi. Let's see, all of this is going to be, let's see, 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8h. 5 times 5 is 25. Uh, oops, almost missed this, h times h. Okay, there's another h here, right? So there's an h squared. Okay, almost missed it, but we didn't. And we have a dh dt. Okay, plus... And now we have this thing, which is already cleaned up. 25, 4 25ths, h squared. Uh, you know what? Just to make this clear, it is in the numerator, because it's all multiplication. dh dt. All right. Uh, I'm going to need a little bit more space, so I'm going to roll down a little bit. So let's roll this down right over there should be pretty good and now we'll continue so here we're gonna get dh nope dv dt there we go okay we're gonna get one third okay now these are like terms they both have dh dt they both have an h squared I could add them 8 h squared dh dt's plus 4 h squared dh dt's Oh, yes, yeah, so they have a common denominator, so I'm adding the numerators. I get 12 h squared dh dt's, yes, over 25, because they have a common denominator, adding the two fractions. Okay, so uh, starting to get a little complicated, but remember, we know a little something here. We know what uh, the height is, and we know what the dvdt is. dvdt is 5. Uh, all right, one third. Uh, let's see, 12 twenty fifths. And remember, h is 4. Okay, I'm going to put a little time sign here so you don't think that's 124 squared. And dhdt, we don't know dhdt. Matter of fact, that's what we want to find. It's asking us. How fast is the water level rising? There, that's how fast, that's the height, how it's changing over time. So here you go, that's what we have to solve for. So we're going to do a little bit of algebra here. So just a teensy bit. Um, let's see, and I think I can squeeze this in here. So you're going to get 
Uh, let's see, dhdt, what is it going to be equal to? Well, I'm going to have to take 5, multiply it by these denominators. All right. And I'm going to have to divide it by these numerators. Divide it by 1, divide it by pi. And I'm going to divide it by 12 times 4 squared. See, I'm hitting the easy button because I'm going to be plugging this into a calculator anyway. And it's going to give me a really good approximation. So after we look at a calculator, the calculator says it is 0.622. Now, since this is a height, it's got to be feet. And we're talking about a rate, so it's got to be feet per minute. What you could do is calculate this for different heights. We did this for a height of 4. You could calculate this for a height of 8, 10, 18, and so on. And you could try to determine when, at what points uh, along the way is the height of the water level changing fastest. Does it change fastest towards the bottom of the cone or as you go up towards the top of the cone? Okay, so I'll let you experiment with that. But uh, please like this video. Please um, subscribe to the channel. Go back to mathguide.com. Check out our lessons. Check out our interactive quizzes. And, of course, our instructional videos. Take care.